Hey, what's up? In this video, I'm going to talk about how I use Nmap in my penetration tests. Uh, to be more precise, the types of Nmap scans I do more often because um, each specific scan and target is like context dependent. So uh, I find that it always requires an adaptable uh, approach. Okay, uh, but before I go into that, I want to make a few quick announcements. First, if you're a business owner or um, website owner and you need a security check on your website, there's a link in the description where you can go and request a penetration test uh, from me. Now, second, I want to say that I've also opened coaching for penetration testing and cybersecurity. So if you want to become a pen tester or um, if you're a business owner and want to know more about how to better secure your website and your web assets, check the link in the description for that. And finally, third of all, please, if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel, like and share this video with your fellow cybersecurity geeks, uh, because this helps me tremendously in spreading awareness uh, in cybersecurity and also growing this channel. And most of all, probably the most important aspect of it is that it keeps me motivated to keep going. All right, now let's go back to the main thread. So I said that uh, I'm going to give you some of the NMAP types of scans that I use very often. And like I said, in each case or in each pen test, there is a high chance um, I use these in combination with other scans because, uh, like I said, each situation requires its own specific approach. So um, one of the scans that I use, the very basic one, is the NMAP-SV um, scan and I have them written down on my laptop over here. So this is a simple and quick scan that looks at the most common 1000 ports and the ports it finds open, it'll tell you or uh, it'll try to guess uh, the version of the service running on that port. It often uses, I believe, uh, banner grabbing for versioning. Now, this is a very good starting point whenever you're doing a penetration test uh, and you don't have uh, you don't have to be super silent in your reconnaissance. If you need to be silent, uh, you may have to use other more stealthy scanning methods. Um, in some situations, you could use proxies with Nmap or you could also use a zombie scan. Uh, and I'll look for a tutorial and provide a link in the description of this video for a zombie scan. Now, for more silent scans using Nmap, you could uh, use the Nmap-SS type of scan. So this uh, minus SS scan is half open scan um, and it's also called uh, a SYN scan. So if you remember the TCP three-way handshake, you send a SYN packet, you receive a SYN ACK, and you send back an ACK to complete the handshake. However, in the case of the minus SS scan, you only send a SYN packet, and you either get a SYN ACK or an RST. So that's why it's called half open, because it never completes the three-way handshake. So in case you receive a SYN ACK back, there's a high chance that the port is open, and if you receive an RST, uh, then most often it means that a port is uh, not listening and it's being marked as filtered, as you can see uh, in the output of your Nmap. Okay, now this is basically the clean explanation of it. However, in this case, there can be many false positives due to firewalls or network rules that could actually prevent scanning. So, uh, it would actually require a combination of manual and automated scans uh, if you want to be very accurate. All right, now moving on. Uh, when I don't get much information from these initial scans, I often run uh, scans on all ports. So that would be uh, the minus P minus option. 
Now, this type of scan can take, and it often takes much longer, so it's very time consuming. Additionally, I would also run um, a UDP scan beforehand with uh, the minus SU option. Now, I didn't say, but the minus ON in all of these uh, scans actually uh, simply means uh, or simply tells Nmap to save the output of the scan to file so that I could review it conveniently at a later point in time. All right, and now one of the most important aspects of each Nmap assessment of a target is to actually look for vulnerabilities. So I'm not sure if you get it, but Nmap can um, actually be an all-in-one powerful tool as it has scripts to check for uh, vulnerabilities on uh, the running services it finds. So the type of scan I would do uh, or I would run is uh, the minus SC. Um, and in this particular scenario, Nmap has a default list of scripts. So if you do minus SC, it has a default list of uh, scripts it checks. However, uh, you can also be very specific and run the scan on a uh, particular port, like for example, minus SC on port 80. Or um, you could also look at the uh, list of all available scripts and if you're using Kali Linux, uh, you should go to uh, share, let's see, user share Nmap scripts. Um, and you could specify the script you want or the scripts you want for Nmap to scan for. Additionally, you can download scripts from Nmap's official website. Okay, so these are a few of the types of scans I often run with Nmap. Now, if you stayed all the way to the end, uh, I want to say thank you. And uh, I really hope you learned something new today. And to reward you for that, I'm going to share uh, with you a free resource in the description of this video where you can interactively uh, learn more about these types of Nmap scans. All right. so. Thank you very much for watching this video. And again, please share it uh, on social media so that more people learn about it and so that we can grow this channel. I'll see you in the next video.